Good morning, Floss Tube. My name is Laura, and I'd like to welcome you to Stitching by the Shore, my channel all about cross stitch. Every once in a while, I talk about something else crafty, but today it is all about cross stitch. Uh, if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for pressing play and giving my channel a chance. I hope you like what you see, and you will hang out and hang around and, and just stitch with us. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and uh, just all your support. I really, really appreciate it. And I love talking with all of you each week. All right, let's get started. Um, I have a couple finishes, but I think I will wait until after my works in progress just because one of them was a start and a finish and there's the theme going on. So I think I'll, I'll put that to a side and just jump into works in progress this week. A little bit out of order, but that's okay. All right, so I had six pieces that I stitched on, two were finishes, and four are still currently <laughs> in action. Um, I did have a couple days where maybe I just had a little bit of stitching time, so I kind of threw in what I could when I could. So some of these didn't get quite as much love as I would hope they would. This is one of them. I was plugging along really great for a while and I'm kind of petering out. <laughs> I'm so close though. I think I have four, three or four left, so I, I can't peter out yet. It's the Country Cottage Needleworks June Cottage that I'm working on for my mom. And I'm working on all 12 for her. And right now, June, June is her birthday month. So I figured I would get that one done with the goal of maybe giving them to her in June. Fingers crossed that we can see each other without being six feet apart and me having to put something on a table and then getting back and then she gets it. So that's what my hope is. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. But here we go. This is done on an 18 count uh, vintage country boca. And this is the front side, the modeled side, which I accidentally did, but I actually really like it this on this side. So the house, I pretty much just plugged away on all white stitching. And I have to say, my white stitching is not always the best, but I'm quite proud of this one. It came out pretty good. There's a couple wonky stitches here or there, but you know what? It's, if it's not, you know, perfection is not what my goal is. I just want to enjoy it. So, um, and really, unless you're looking and, and staring at it within like, two feet from it, you'll never know the difference. So I just plugged away on that and, and just did the one color, but I'm glad to get that finished. And then, you know, I can work on all the windows and the door and all the stuff around it. There's not a ton around it. Some of them have more. So <sighs> the rate I'm going, it may not be June until I'm finished with it, but it's, it's coming along. So that's that one. Okay. I'm gonna figure out where to put these. I have bunch of different things placed in different spots. Okay, next one. I'm very close on this one. Antique Locks and Keys by Shakespeare's Peddler. Super cute. And I've been trying to work on getting one key a day. I did work on the words a couple days. I didn't quite squeak in, but I did a little longer on a couple other days. Here we are. So close. I have, and they're, they're big. If you look here, it's a, a key and a lock that are both bigger um, but that's all I have left so this is done on an 18 count tinsmith which is from dying for cross stitch I did see on her Facebook page this morning um, I did a quick look through on Facebook and I think she is putting out um, I think she's adding colors tomorrow maybe for flosses she dyes flosses as well as fabrics you know me, I'm just a DMC girl, so I love the fabrics, but people rave about her flosses too. Um, she like everything else, when I, I put in the description box, I link, so if you'd like to check out uh, Kathy's stuff, you can. So loving it on this color gray, and really happy I chose this one. I am, I love the monochromatic. I have to say it's so nice just to have the one color. I am using Anchor Black for this, which is not the called for. It was a silk, I believe, and I think it was in the purple shades, palms maybe. But this is this is the look I had always envisioned when I had planned on doing it, so super excited. And yeah, next week, next week it should be done. Should be a finish. 
All right, Mary Poppins. Everybody loves Mary Poppins from The Little Stitcher. Thank you so much for all the great feedback from it. I really appreciate all your kind words. She's fun. She's, it's a bigger piece than I thought. When you look at it, you say, you know, cross stitch. You, you guys all know. You, you look at it and you say, oh, that, that won't take that long. It takes longer than you realize, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm enjoying it and we're just plugging along. So here we go. This is done on 18 count winter blues from Bestitch Me. And what I worked on, I think the clock, clock face. And then I came down here. This is gonna be really cool because you'll see the start of the design and that's all the way down the bottom of um, the clock and then mixed in color. So I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. So I have that to work on, which I probably, I'm enjoying that. So I think I'll continue to work on that this week. And then I have one more house and then I have border and words down here. So we are plugging along. Really, really enjoy it. I, it's funny because when I pulled the colors, they weren't necessarily colors that would scream to me like, ooh, I love those. But I'm really enjoying how they look stitched up, how they look together, and how they look on this shade of blue, which is perfect. It's, it's definitely blue, but if you look at it, you can almost see a gray tone. It's definitely, um, got that kind of cool uh, tone to it, which is exactly what I was looking for. I was so excited when I found this, uh, when this fabric came. So that's where we are. Not, um, I don't think, I don't think in March this will be a finish. Maybe April, that would be, I think, my goal. Maybe before May, you know, have this one as a finish and put it away. I don't know what I'm doing for May and Mania. Not sure yet. Um, last year I did one start a week and they were four fairly large pieces. And then three of the four are done. The only one that isn't is Kringles, which is humongous. So um, so that's it. That's I think that's what I'm gonna say. My goal is to get this done before May. And I definitely think I could do that, especially if I just keep up at it every week. This did get a day and a half of stitching. A couple of my bigger pieces, I wanted to, um, I wanted to give it a little bit more love, so I did give this one a day and a half. I, I, I look at each day, obviously I don't sit and stitch up the whole day, but for my stitching time, that was what I gave it. And then this one I wanted to pull out in March, uh, Bells of Ireland, obviously, St. Patrick's Day, March, the whole bit. So it's Nora Corbett in Bells of Ireland. I started this right around my anniversary last year because I had Bells of Ireland in my bouquet. It was made up of flowers with those as accent pieces. And here it is. So it's a big piece here that I haven't, um, but this is the, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna fold it even more a little bit so you can just see straight what I have right now. Whoa. <laughs> so there she is. I really, really enjoy stitching on this. I have a little bit left of her dress. Some of it is blended DMCs um, or two DMCs put together to blend. So that takes a little bit longer. And then um, I did get to start on some of the flowers. So there's some green that finally broke out. I am almost done with this wing. <laughs> Words, uh, this wing right here. And then I continued down with her arms. But I am really, really liking this. The blank spots are where beads will come. I have the beads. I haven't ever used beads before, but one of my videos I had asked about them and you guys gave such fabulous uh, suggestions. Whenever you do that, know that I write everything down. I take notes from your comments and I also make myself a note of what video so I can always go back and see the comments uh, firsthand. So know that all of your suggestions are really being read and um, take note of and I appreciate it so much uh, so and I really appreciate the time you take to write out those those comments when you do so this is where we're plugging along I'd like to work on this at my goal was Bells of Ireland at least twice um, you know two of the four weeks of March and Kringles at least twice two of the four weeks of March so I don't know if I'll continue on this one or if I'll pull out Kringles this week I'm not sure I don't really know I don't it's funny a lot of times as I go into a new week, I don't have set plans. Um, 
nothing written down. But in my mind, I kind of have vague ideas. I have no idea. This is going to be really by the seat of my pants this week. So this is Bells of Ireland. Loving it. My first Nora Corbett. And I, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so those are the four works in progress that are one almost finished, the other, the other's not so much. <laughs> but then I have two finishes. Now this one you know, you knew this was gonna be a finish. And, oh, I think it's gonna be a little crinkly. I'll take out the cover sheet. Um, this is a digital, so you're just gonna see it black and white, but it was print, it is done on black fabric, and uh, I followed their lead with it. This is Primrose Cottage Stitches and it is called Lucky Love. I believe they are, they've created um, an idea of doing 12 of these same exact size so that it's something that you could take out each month. And they don't necessarily, they, actually they don't, any of them say the month. They just pulled out, I think the April one is, it's a couple little ducks with um, umbrellas and I don't know if there's any rain. But the whole idea was to have a little bit of a monthly piece. It doesn't say the month, but it kind of says what the month is type of thing. I think the January one was a cute little snowman, and then February was the little lovebirds. Um, this is what it is. So this is just a plain black fabric, just your run-of-the-mill black. It's a little stiff. It's funny, I haven't worked on this in a while. I'm so used to the hand dyes now, which are a lot softer, but it was small. Super cute, I love it, I love that shamrock, and um, I, I, like their, I like their stitches. This is a quick stitch, you could, now, because this was on black and I had to do it during the daytime, it kind of messed with how much I could do with it. If you're a quick stitcher, you could get that done in a day, easily. So if you are still thinking, oh, I think I want a few more things for St. Patrick's Day, you could easily do this one, as well as the next one I'm gonna show you. The next one was also from Primrose Cottage Stitches. And let's see if I have that. Usually I pull out the, uh, but I was thinking, oh, they're finished, but I still wanna show you. This one, I don't know what color they did it on. Does it say oh, Ice, Icelandic Gray? So they had done it on a gray and they finished it as a pillow, which was super cute. So it's called Irish Kisses from Primrose Cottage Stitches. That's what it looks like with their pillow finish. I went a little different color route. You know I like to do that. <laughs> and I chose Honeybee from Vintage Needle Arts, 18 count. I wanted to do something that was a little bit of the traditional kind of goldish kind of color. Um, and it's only two greens, so the gold, it looks really good, it, really nice <laughs> on the gold. I apparently am, not farming sentence as well this morning. <laughs> I haven't had my oatmeal. I need my oatmeal. No, it's a little, actually about, about this time I started eating my breakfast. But that's what I have. So this is just two shades of DMC is what they charted it in. Two different greens. Um, like I said, Honey Bee from Vintage Needle Arts, 18 count. And this, if you're a quick stitcher, you could probably get this done in a day. If not, two days tops. It took me two stitching days. And I finished it yesterday, and I had a busy, busy morning, and um, it really wasn't until late afternoon that I, I started doing some stitching, and I was able to get it finished up. So that shows you. Um, this one is also a quick one. So if you were looking for another one that you wanted before the holiday, because we're what, March 5th, so you still have 12 days. <laughs> Super cute. And it's a digital, so it, you get it immediately. So for this year, I did this one, the Lucky Love and, and Irish Kisses from Primrose Cottage Stitches. And then I added, remember, I did the Helen D uh, piece. So those are the three. And then last year I did, this was a freebie. And if you want to know what it was, I'll look it up for you. If I think about it, I'll put it... Um, yeah, I'll look it up for you is what I'll do. I have it somewhere. I have it in my notes from videos, but this was a freebie. It was not this big. I extended it to make it a little longer and then I just found a, a, a free font thing to make my last name with it. 
So color wise, you know I'm very deliberate with colors. So this is partly why I choose. And so far we have a nice little match of colors that will work well together. And those are my, those are my St. Patrick's pieces. And that's, that's it for St. Patrick's Day. I'm done, I'm done, done. I am looking towards Easter and spring and everything else that inspires me in that direction. So we're done, we're done with St. Patrick's. Okay, plans, what are my plans? Um, I wanna show you a freebie that I plan I would like to do that's for Easter and work on either Bells of Ireland and Kringle, indoor Kringles, and obviously Mary. Mary Poppins is my go-to and I wanna finish Locks and Keys. So I actually have more of a plan than I thought. Who knew? Um, but again, it's, it's very loosey-goosey and I just kinda stitch what I want when I want. And that's really it for plans. All right, I got the nicest, nicest piece of happy mail. Thank you so much. This is from Deb. And Deb was so thoughtful. She was thinking about things that I could do for finishing. One, she was thinking about what I could do instead of doing magnets and, and washers. And she mentioned something called museum putty, which I am going to explore. I started to look on Amazon and I started to do a little bit of research. I hadn't heard of it before but it really sounds like that might be a great option for me to try if I don't wanna use the washers and the magnets especially. So thank you for that info. So she gave me info as well as a lovely little happy mail package. And she's a stamper, so I have to show, oh, you know I always show the cards because I love your cards no matter what. Um, but this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at the beautiful job she did with this. Love it, love it. Love the multi-layers, I love this. Um, die cut uh, piece and then this is <laughs> Deb you are you are a better colorer than me a lot of my stuff is just a uh, straight line without colors she did a great job coloring and blending with all this is all multiple shades to blend um, and then even the fancy it, it's, well it's actually called fussy cutting she even fussy cut for me so this is beautiful love this love this so much it's going up it's going with all my other cards so appreciative thank you so much for that and taking the time to do that then she gave she sent me some finishing pieces um, that she thought could be useful for me so I want to show them to you and then she sent some stuff that eventually you guys will also get to see as giveaways so she gave me a cute little sent me a little basket like this and she did leave tags so if there's something you see um, I'll be able to tell you if, if you wanted me to know where it came from. Super cute. Then a couple of metal pieces. So this is an easel. And then it has the little clip up top. So how cute for a little small. Love that. And then a larger one. Also an easel. Super cute. This is adorable. <laughs> I could put it up just like this. But it actually... It's about the size of some of those primrose, I bet you. Super cute, love it. And then this piece that we were thinking of um, possibly for my mom's, if I didn't wanna do an easel, when I finish them, I, the, obviously this, ironically, best mom ever, but that would probably be covered. Um, but I could just clip it and she could just change them out by clips. So I thought that was great. So those are some awesome, awesome pieces. I am so excited to see what I can use with them. And then she sent some other, she sent a whole bunch of, and I wanna say this is probably, this looks like even weave. It does. So there are several uh, different sizes and colors of even weave. We have this one, a lovely color. That's kind of fun. And then this one is a little bit more on the minty, minty greens. We have some white. This one would be kind of along the mushroom lines, I'd say. And then, oh, some more of that brown again. So this is fantastic. These, you know that I don't, um, I myself stick with Ada because my eyes like Ada better. But I would love to share all of this with you. So these will be in a future giveaway and you will get a chance if you'd either like to try Evenweave if you've not used it before. Yeah, they all look like Evenweave. 
Um, or if it's if it's your go-to and you like it, or you just use it with everything else, um, I'm definitely going to be super excited to share all those with you. Then this is actually it's a combo here. It was a piece that this was linen, a piece that was started on linen. There's not much done of it. It can be frogged out if want, but it's a big piece of linen. So it's all that, and it came with this pattern, Merry Christmas. So whether or not you want to work on this linen with it, frog out that, take out whatever um, stitching and use the linen for something else, and then just use this pattern. This is a pattern, and Powell heirloom stitchery. So that will be a future giveaway, that and the linen. So that's super exciting. And then a couple of samplers. And I know some of you are sampler people, so super excited to be able to offer these at some point. This is from Sheepish Designs Honeysuckle Vine Sampler. These are really pretty colors. Really, really pretty. The purples and mauves, purples and greens, basically. So that's a super pretty one. Leisure Arts, that brings me back. That was, Leisure Arts was probably one of the few uh, back when I was stitching that, you know, you'd go to Michael's or Joann's or even the, the scrap, uh, I was gonna say scrapbook store, the stitching store, and Leisure Arts, there'd be tons and tons of them. So this one is called Ma Ella's Crazy Quilt. So that's super cute. Love that. So that will be a giveaway in the future. Then there's one that's Happy Anniversary. So great different anniversary pieces and they show all sorts of options so it's almost like a booklet and then there's a cross stitch sampler magazine from just says June just says display until June 30th I'm sure it says it somewhere so that will also be at some point down the line so thank you so much Deb that was incredibly generous to offer some giveaways for everyone else and to think of me and send me some beautiful beautiful oh did I not show this I didn't show this one how cute is this is this is so cute I'm putting this up right now it's going somewhere right now for the rest of March <laughs> I love that thank you so much for thinking of me and coming up with some ideas of finishing thoughts for me and thinking of everyone else that was super super generous and just shows the spirit of this community, how lovely a spirit this community is and has. So thank you. Shopping. I did some shopping. It is all fabric, people. All fabric. Um, three of which, though, are fabric of the months. They all came this week. And you know I have four fabric of the months that I get, and the January color and cotton came last week. No. The January color and cotton from Crazy Annie's came last week. This one, this week, I got the straight up January from color and cotton itself. So I also do through them. This is called Moroccan Clay. Really pretty color. I get a small piece. I get a 13 by 17. But that's perfect. It gives me a chance to see what um, the fabric's like with different colors. So that's Moroccan Clay. Really pretty. That was their January. They're a little bit behind. I don't know if it's because of they moved at the end of 2020, 20, beginning of 2021. And of course there's the shortages of fabric in some cases. So one or the other, I'm sure that's why they're behind. Then I got my February fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me. I am in the standard club. So if you do not wanna see what the Ada looks like, if you haven't gotten it yet, um, then look away. And it is called Peony. Super pretty, really, really pretty. Oh, that one has a little bit more. Oh, it's funny, looking at it far away, I can see more variegation than if I looked at it close. It's a little bit dark, there we go. That shows you the color a little bit better. Really pretty, I have some thoughts about that one. And then Misty from Mystic Fabrics, she, I'm telling you, it, this is the March. She's already sent out and shipped, you know done the March fabric. And this is called Father Time. I think this was an experiment. Mindy's so, uh, Mindy, Misty is so cute. She's always like, I experimented, I hope you like it. It's beautiful. It's called Father Time, really, really cool. It actually is showing up a lot darker on the screen. It's not quite as um, bright as that. It's a little bit more muted when you see it. See, oh, see? Okay, see that looks different than if I hold it up. See how bright that looks? And then if I come back 
and show you a little bit. It looks a little bit more muted. But it is just a combo of grays, blacks maybe, with pinks, and just fantastic, fantastic pretty color. So that is called Father Time, and that was her March fabric of the month. And again, I get 18 count Ada in all these. So those are the fabric of the months. Then I had told you that I had placed an order with Kimberly at To Die For Fabrics, and she got her 18 count in, so she was lickety split quick, and she got these dyed and out very quickly. So these were, I was just trying, um, no plans really, but a kind of, I wanna see what they look like, and it gives me a frame of reference. Um, uh, for when I want to pick out some different fabrics. This one's called Riverstone. And that's really pretty. Really, really pretty. It's beigey brown tones is what I would give, would, what I would describe it as. Um, there is some variegation in it in the sense of modeling, I should say, from the light and the dark. But again, my screen picks it up as a little heavier than it is in person, which is fantastic because I like it, but I like it to be a bit more subtle and in person these are perfect. So that's called River Stone. And that I don't have a lot of shades like this, so I'm super excited to see what I can come up with that. This next one, I don't have a lot of like, I'm dipping my toe into more of the deeper tans and browns. And this was the first one I tried and it's called Driftwood Tan. And it's, it's again, a beautiful, beautiful color. I really like the shade of it. And it is definitely like a, it is a deep tan heading towards your browns, but not like a heavy brown. So I like that one a lot. That's all 18 count fabric that you're looking at. And this next one, it's a burgundy. It's called Gryffindor Burgundy. And look at that, so pretty. This one is a pure, I am just buying this to try because I wanna try a brighter color. You know, I, I even though I do use a lot of color they're still a little bit safer in some ways. So I wanted to, to, to have some more pops in my fabric stash. So this was purely a, the reason why I bought that, but it's gorgeous. It's really, really pretty burgundy. So those are the three that I received from her. I may or may not have another order of some more that I wanted to try from her. So in a few weeks, you may see some more. Um, she's very quick she's uh, very much on the ball and um, I enjoy I enjoy buying fabrics from her so that was my shopping I do have a freebie to show you um, let me grab my iPad and see oh, of course Instagram I have something saved and then it doesn't save it so Helen D you know I showed you the St. Patrick's piece well she just brilliantly came out with an Easter one and she made a pillow out of it so again it's the four Easter words and she has a little peep there it's so cute it the freebie is linked um, on her very last video so under where I say shopping and I say freebie I will put a link straight to the to the video and in the description box she has the link so if you are interested it says Easter Bunny colored eggs jelly beans and marshmallow peeps and then she has a marshmallow peep. And like she said, you can do the words or the peep in any color that you want, depending on what color scheme you want to do it with. So um, I'm excited. So that is definitely, and the last one stitched up, it could have been done in a day if I was a little bit uh, quicker stitcher or longer stitch, you know, longer sitting stitcher. Um, but certainly a day or two. So this you could have, Easter's early this year, isn't it? I believe it is. I believe it's the beginning of April this year. So probably still a month. Yeah, oh yeah, you definitely still have a month. But um, this would be a super quick stitch if you wanted to get uh, a little um, piece of another extra Easter decoration out there. So that's a freebie, and I will definitely link that for you below. And that is something I would think I'd, I haven't decided on fabric yet. I have a couple different warring ideas of which way I want to go. But once I can figure out fabric, that is definitely one potentially that I'd like to stitch up this week. We'll see. All right, so that's it. That's all the shopping. Um, giveaways. Giveaways. 
So last week, thank you so much for everybody who commented. And uh, again, I, I love, love, love to see all of your comments and chat. And you know what? If you use neutrals, it's not boring. It's just what you prefer, you know? I, I mean, you don't have to use the bright colors. You don't have to. If, if, if a tan or a cream is your jam, I think that's fantastic. And maybe you express, well, you do. You express your creativity with the stitching. And um, there's nothing wrong with those. So it, it, I definitely wanted to say, you you know, some people are like, oh, I'm boring. I just use, no, it, that, that's, you, that's fantastic. I think it's lovely. And believe you me, I love a good vintage country mocha as much as the next person. So um, you, you go for it. And the winner though, for this week it was, you will get a free whatever, fat, well, fat quarter, I should say, a free fat quarter of whatever, whether it's Ada or even weave or linen that you would like to try. And the winner is, ah, you always comment every week. So this is, I, you know, it's so funny. I don't, you know, I don't obviously know, well, I don't know in person any of you, but um, when you comment every week, I get to, I, I get to know you and I feel like you're my stitchy friend. So Facebook, uh, YouTube name is Don Patterson Lauren Morrison. So you get the um, uh, back water of your choice from To Die For Fabrics. And Kimberly is sponsoring. She's so lovely. She said, you know what? I think I'm gonna sponsor this one. Ah, well, we know who won. I've got the thing on the floor. So she is, she is very generously sponsoring it. So I don't know if you're Don or Lauren, but Don Patterson, Lauren Morrison, if you could please go go look at To Die For Fabrics and um, it'll be linked in my description if you haven't seen it before. I also had linked it at the top from last week's video. Go see what you want and then come back to me and choose a fat quarter of whatever type of fabric and the color. And if you would then leave me your name and address with what you want, I will coordinate everything with Kimberly. So you can either do that on um, my Gmail, which is listed down below, stitchingbytheshore at gmail.com, or you can also DM me on Instagram if you prefer, whichever one you'd like to, to do. Um, but congratulations and have fun shopping. And I'm so happy to hear that a lot of you have checked out her stuff and have placed orders um, and like her fabric. I, I really like to hear that because I, I love it and I really love to support small businesses in any way that I can. Um, so super excited to support her and help her in her business plan. This week, we are looking towards Easter a little bit. Um, so you'd still have a few weeks to stitch this up for this uh, year if you wanted to. It is one of the new uh, Stitching with the Housewives Bunny Bakery. So that will be the giveaway for this coming week. As usual, they're char they're charted in uh, Country Cottage Needlework, a uh, country, country, uh, co color and cotton. I see the CC, and in my and when I make abbreviations, CCN is Country Cottage Needlework. And I saw CCW, um, um, so it's uh, the fancy floss, the traditional fancy floss that Priscilla uses, but she always gives DMC alternatives, which is what I always use when I stitch their patterns. So this is this week's giveaway. So what am I gonna ask? Well, one thing, if you wanna be entered for this, say the word green in your comment because green is going to be the word I'm looking for, given that it's March now and we're getting towards St. Patrick's Day. And um, for what I'd like you to answer everybody, um, and then again, use the word green if you wanna enter, is you know, there's been so much talk about um, the online needlework expo that is coming up. It's this weekend where designers have been putting out um, new designs and it's an online trade show since we are still uh, in restrictions and we can't all see each other in person quite yet. Um, so it's it's a you know weekend extravaganza for um, trades people and um, designers to put out their product and then stores and shops and and so on and so forth to buy. So I want to know, have you have you started to pre-order items? Have you looked at it? Do you even know know anything about it? There is a Facebook page that has I think an Instagram as well that you can see all the stuff coming out and then obviously shops that you follow have been putting out pictures for pre-orders. Um, 
Do you have a list? Have you already bought? Or are you like me? I am, I, I have no list. I haven't bought. I'm looking at everything and then kind of taking my time to deliberately buy what I want to buy. That's, with patterns, I've become a little bit more deliberate um, with what I buy. Um, some of them are just straight because I just want to. But so I, I definitely, as you'll see, as you can tell from my shopping, a lot of it is more um, the fabrics to go with the patterns I already have, and then I deliberately choose patterns as I go from here. So tell me about your Needlework Expo plans. Have you got lists? Have you already ordered? Have you not even heard about it? Um, I will link the Facebook page below. Um, if you would like to check it out if you haven't seen it yet and again I know a really good Facebook group that shows a lot of stuff that's coming out is stitching 911 um, I'll link that down below as well it's 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 a it's a wonderful little cross stitch group and um, she does a great job uh, I believe it's Stacy right and she has a floss tube herself 911 stitcher so I, I'll link I don't know if it's stitching 911 or 911 stitching Stitcher, I'll link it down below. Um, but she always seems to show all the new stuff, so it's also a great resource to see. Um, so I'll put that with the Needlework uh, Expo info, so if you want to see. So tell me about that, and if you want to enter for Bunny Bakery, then add the word green. And that's it. If, uh, if you don't want to hear about life, which there's not a lot to talk about, then I will see you next week. Otherwise, um, what is going on? <laughs> Um, sad news for Megan. She just found out a couple days ago that the school is not allowing them to do um, official sports for the spring. So she is going to lose two seasons of lacrosse. She was devastated. She was quite, quite upset about it. I think what made it worse is they're in the Centennial Conference and all of the other schools, except one other besides her, are all... Um, they are going to play every conference that they play out of conference games are all playing so everybody around them in those areas are all playing and I disagree with the school's choice I think the kids could have done it safely and mentally I think they really need it so I'm sad for I'm really really sad for the seniors now who have lost both their junior and senior year um, and do not get a chance to play so that was that was a little bit of disappointment disappointing news this week. But again, life is full of disappointments, right? So we just got to learn how to roll with the punches. Um I, they are still doing practices, but it's just not the same, I think. But, you know, I guess it's a chance to get together if nothing else and uh there is spring ball for field hockey, so she was given the permission from the athletic trainers to be able to do both sports this spring since neither one of them will have games. So she's gonna do a little bit of field hockey as well as the lacrosse. Um, other than that, um, not a lot, really. Uh, it is cold here. It, uh, we had one nice day that it sort of got nice, but then it's gotten cold again, and it's gonna be cold through the weekend. So not a lot of good outdoors time coming. I am getting sniffly though, so I know it is March at this point, I am sniffly 24-7, 365. Yeah. Every day of the year, I have a stuffy nose because I'm allergic to either stuff indoors or outdoors. But spring and autumn are, two, are my two stronger allergy months. So if I start sniffling a lot more, <laughs> you'll know that all of the outdoor stuff is starting to uh, bloom and um, it's getting to me a little bit. <laughs> so Kleenex, I have lots and lots of Kleenex around me. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll get a little bit better. They, they keep making noises, the weathermen, though, that we are not done with snow and that the second half of March could be a little snowy. I'm not too thrilled about that, but again, rolling with the punches. Um, and that's about it, really. Connor is today off for some unknown reason. None of the kids knew. They're like, eh, we don't know. We have a day off. So he's home today from school, which he's not going to complain about, but he will complain because... <laughs> He is way behind on some of his homework assignments. So today is a working day off. He is not getting a break. <laughs> I am not having him this last semester of high school 
end up failing out of anything. So that is <laughs> that is our fun parenting moment of the weekend we were going to have is trying to get him back on track. Senioritis has hit hard and uh, we just got to get him through another couple months. <laughs> so that's about it. Uh, I hope to um, maybe get a little bit of fresh air, although it'll be a little bit chilly this weekend, and then some stitching and oh, I have to get my business taxes together because the accountant needs tax stuff. So that's the, that's the non-fun stuff that I have to do this weekend too. So that's about it. I hope everybody is well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and staying well and um, just, you know, keeping up with the stitching and uh, uh, maybe seeing some fun new stitching stuff this weekend as the expo comes out. Some some designers showed full things, and I think some just did sneak peeks, so it'll be fun to see what's coming out um, and what their plans are with some new designs. So that's about it. I'm thinking about all of you. I hope uh, I hope you're getting a lot of stitching in, and um, I think about you all when I'm stitching and thinking that we can be stitching together, uh, even if it is just virtually. So stay safe, stay well, and until next time, happy stitching. <laughs>